Okay, welcome, and uh, thank you for joining us on this uh, quick introduction into the meaning of colors for filmmakers. Uh, this is only meant as a very basic introduction, so let's get started. The first color, red, is blood, and uh, of course that seems obvious, uh, but this is really uh, illustrates a concept with colors, and, and one is that any color really can have a positive or a negative meaning. And blood is a good example, although I don't have a picture of blood right there. It's uh, some kind of pressure valve, uh, which is obviously a danger color, which is a probably appropriate for that. But um, if we want to think of blood, uh, we could think of, you know, it's probably a good thing inside your body, but it's a bad thing outside of your body. So the same with red. If we want to convey anger uh, or danger, um, that's the color that we would use. Um, if we want to convey bold passion, stimulation, and even sex, then again, red is the color. Uh, think of a red Ferrari or a beautiful woman in a red dress. Uh, this is interesting. I actually got these uh, squares off of uh, Wikipedia, and they almost look brown, more brown than orange to me, but it's supposed to be orange. But think of an orange, and uh, oranges, uh, of course, are associated with vitality, energy, vibrance, um, if that's the message you're trying to convey, uh, either zest or energy uh, or warning, uh, you'd want to use uh, the color orange. I guess you could say if red and yellow got together and had a baby, uh, the color would be orange. So it's kind of those two colors together, which are both very intense and stimulating. So speaking of yellow, uh, this is an interesting color because if your goal is to communicate happiness, intensity, a love for life, then yellow is your color. Uh, the strange thing about yellow is that just as positive as it is, it also has a negative connotation as well. So uh, if the goal is to create unstoppable optimism and intensity and a love for life, then yellow is an easy choice. If the goal is to showcase illness or a cowardly person um, or one who has not lived well, then strangely, yellow would be your color as well. I mean, if you can think of seeing someone with yellow eyes or yellow teeth, um, and even the in our language we say someone's yellow uh, as coward. Uh, green is very interesting, very similar to yellow. Um, on a subconscious level, probably green triggers a blue reaction because plants green are often associated with water blue. Um, similar to yellow, uh, green is a color that has a real split personality. The positive greens are really positive and the negatives of green are equally negative. If the goal is to show renewal, growth, newness to life, then green is your go-to color. However, if you wish to convey greed, envy, or sickness, then green could be used as well. Um, it's complementary color is actually magenta, so magenta would cancel out green. Now, this is an interesting color, which you could think of this, I, I think of this as the Corona beer commercial color because it's really that uh, an aqua color, um, but it's a uh, it's kind of that uh, you know out in the middle of the tropics somewhere that color of the water is that aqua color, and it really creates a sense of um, tropical paradise and beauty. Um, the upside is calm and positive, and uh, like everything, the downside would be uh, a lack of inertia, uh, potentially uh, too relaxed, you know. And so you can just think of maybe like a beach bum. You know, the good thing about a beach bum is he's relaxed. The bad thing is he doesn't do anything. Uh, blue's a great color. Um, the clear association here is with the ocean. Just think of how you feel on a clear day with a deep blue sky. Well, that's if that's the feeling you're shooting for, then blue is the tone color you want. On the plus side, uh, blue is associated with calm, class, and collectedness. Um, and on the negative side, if you think about blue, uh, it could also mean cold, or frigid, and even depressed. Uh, we have that in our, our language of feeling blue, uh, the musical genre of the blues. Uh, so it's very interesting how the colors can have a positive or negative connotation depending on the context. Now these, are, these colors are actually harder to find, the next two, and this would be uh, if you're trying to create a sense of specialty, uh, of something that's special, royalty or nobility, uh, then purple is your color of choice. And on this particular mural, um, this is actually a, a king of uh, Hawaii at one time. 
it's interesting the choice of color purple uh, because that is again associated with uh, ali'i or nobility on the upside it can mean spiritual mystical from another world and on the negative it can mean detached self-absorbed and not grounded um, in writing for example purple prose is uh, uh, often used to mean excessively descriptive language and this is a is a cousin to the the color that we just saw uh, if you're trying to create a sense of uniqueness again um, it's really a passion red balanced with the piece of blue magenta would be the color you're looking for and it's hard to find if you go out in the world with your camera and look for it it's, it's not that easy a color to find um, but uh, like purple, it, is a, it lies between red and blue, but it's closer to red. On the positive side, it can mean balance, harmony, love, and creativity. And on the negative side, it can mean impulsive and out of touch. So it just depends on the theme of your story, um, the, the, how, the color you would pick to kind of reinforce that. The most interesting color of all um, is black. Uh, some say it's the absence of color or the absorption of all color. But really, it's on a continuum. You know, there's really a lot of, um, if you go around your house, you'll notice almost all your equipments and electronics are black. Your camera's black, your remote's black, your TV's black. You know, so much stuff is black. Um, but uh, it can mean on the positive side, power, sophistication, elegance, and realism. That's something to consider if you're going to go with black and white. And on the other, it can mean death, secrecy, or bad intentions. However, like I said, on, it exists on a continuum, so it's in the shadows. Uh, white, uh, it really contains all the wavelengths of light in it. And uh, if the goal is to create a sense of innocence, purity, and cleanliness, then white would be the color that you'd use. You know, think of um, a bride on her wedding day. Uh, generally, they're dressed all in white. Um, however, you know, uh, on the negative side, it can also mean... Uh, vulnerability, uh, isolation, and extreme cleanliness, which it would almost be like sterility, which uh, wouldn't be really good unless you're getting operated on. But if you told somebody they were sterile, that's usually not a positive thing. Uh, okay, now we're moving into um, uh, if your purpose is to convey a sense of earth or the terrestrial existence, then brown would be your color. On the positive side, it conveys a sense of warmth and strength and nature. But on the negative side, uh, it can convey a sense of not being clean, unsanitary. Um, you know, after all, it is the color of feces as well. So it's, uh, it's just amazing. Um, you just have to keep in mind that any color can mean, you know, really polar opposites of you know, it just depends on the context and the culture. So a color by itself really doesn't mean anything. It depends on the context. And then the last one here we'll go over is uh, these uh, neutral tone colors. Uh, I'm just going to call it gray. But gray literally means without color. And so if your goal is to create a sense of sobriety, of sameness, uh, then gray would be a good choice. Uh, here the artist is chosen to use it uh, as the color of the person's skin which is a very interesting uh, it's kind of very unemotional color so on the positive side it is associated with metal uh, stainless steel uh, industrial uh, so it can mean quality long-lasting and practical but on the negative it can convey a sense of a lack of commitment a dullness and a and a, and a blandness so it's, it's, uh, it's really, really interesting. So uh, the point of this video really is not to give you a comprehensive overview of every color, but just to kind of get your mind around uh, colors can mean uh, opposite things, and it really just depends on the, uh, the context and the culture. I, well, somebody once said, you know, what does an open door mean? And, well, you know, it just depends. It, it, could, it just depends on the context, right? I mean, uh, it could mean somebody left the house and forgot to close the door. It could mean somebody wants some fresh air in their house. Uh, it could mean that a, someone broke into the house. Uh, it could mean they forgot to close the door when they went in. It is just determined by the context and, of course, um, the culture. So, um, 
you know, I really appreciate you. We really appreciate you watching these videos and uh, leaving positive or constructive comments. And, um, you know, stay tuned because we plan on uh, posting more videos, which we feel are going to be very helpful to aspiring filmmakers. So thank you very much for your time and have a great day.